92 Green Z34 here again. Um, We're going to review yet another beer from the Pick 6 pack. Um, this beer really has to be good. We're, we got to pull hard towards this beer being good. We ain't tried it yet. Um, it's 90 Shillings Ale. And the reason why this needs to be good is because so far, three of the beers on this uh, Pick Your 6 have not been picked very well. They They've all been not good beers to me, um, but we'll we'll uh, we'll just keep our fingers crossed and hope it is. Um, if you want more information on the pick your six, um, look at the uh, the uh, long hammer, um, red hook or whatever it is, a review. Um, but anyway, it says 90 shilling, you know, uh, pretty cool artwork on the on the bottle, got like mountains and water, and it says uh, Odell Brewing Company at the very bottom. It's kind of got a little seal up top there. Cap says Odell Brewing Company and has like a leaf. Um, 12 ounce, 5.3 percent alcohol. Government warning barcode. <coughs> 90 shilling is our flagship beer, smooth and complex. 90 shilling is a medium body amber ale with a distinct bur. What the hell does it say? Burnished copper color. And a deeply pleasant aroma. A shilling was a British coin used from 1549 to 1982. The name 90 shilling comes from the Scottish method of taxing beer. Only the highest quality beers are taxed 90 shillings. We'll find this original ale brilliantly refreshing and worth every shilling. Got some coins and stuff. It's kind of a neat little backstory. And I guess now we know how long they used a shilling from 1549 to 82. So. If you were good to go from 1549 and 1982, you had the same freaking coin, you might as well spend it on something. Why not keep it? Um, but uh, we'll crack her open and we'll see what she sounds like. It's kind of a medium hiss when you open it, not real strong. Um, you know, but so far none of these have been. Uh, smell is better than the rest so far. So far, we're keep your fingers crossed. This is the best smelling one of all of them I opened up so far. Color is more my color. Much darker. Wow, that has got a chocolate. M much better head. Smells still a little on the uh, the weedy side, but it definitely looks better. Yeah, it's got a weed smell. Um. I really wish I it, it didn't smell like wheat, because I'm almost afraid it's going to be another wheat beer. Um, the person at the hive you recommended all these beers to me. I didn't bother looking at them. They're all saying wheat. Five three or five point three alcohol. Five point three alcohol. I think I, I did say that earlier, but did you? it's all good. We'll give her a taste. Has a wheat beer taste still. But it's got a creaminess that kind of makes up for it. Go ahead, Lloyd, have a taste. Yeah, it does have that weak taste. A little bitterness. But it's not it's not too bad. It's not not as bad. Okay. I think I'm gonna donate this one up to Logan. I it's almost a shame, but god. These beers are just getting tough on the old gullet. And um, it's not a shame. I like free beer. He does like free beer. It costed me some money, so to me it's not worth it. For him, it's free. Probably would be worth it. Um, I can say that if you're into uh, this kind of thing, it might be the way to go. Um, but it's it's really not for me. Want to have a second sip to see what you still think? Nah. He's, yeah. he's offering me a second sip, and I'm turning it down. Um, but... That's about it on this one, I guess. Um, really sorry that this isn't a better review of it because I was really hoping myself that it would taste better than that, but I uh, guess not. Uh, as always, have a good day.